What's up, YouTube? It's Johnny V out here on the beach, Long Beach, Mississippi. Is that a dead fish? Half eaten fish. How y'all been doing? Doing all right? Happy Memorial Day. Thanks to the service men and women of the United States. Why plant that? Somebody must have planted that. This is what the beach looks like in Long Beach, Mississippi. Brown water. The spillway in New Orleans is open, so that's dumping a lot of fresh water into this here Gulf of Mexico. And it's killed 800 dolphins so far. Not just the fresh water, it's uh, the pollutants that come with it. I guess the diseases and stuff that they're not used to introduce into the ecosystem. That's about the knowledge of my, uh, that's about the limit of my knowledge about that. I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of water, a whole bunch of fresh water. There's another fish. A whole bunch of fresh water that's introduced. Looks like a catfish here. Could be wrong. I saw some stuff that looked pretty oily. I don't know what that was. I mean, the oil spill was a long time ago. Many, many years ago. It was a horrible oil spill because they couldn't cap it. It took forever to cap it. Yeah, you didn't want to be in this beach. It oil washing up. Because it's about, I don't know, 100 miles offshore here. This is growing everywhere. That couldn't have been planted because there's so many of them. I think that's naturally occurring. See if I throw this back into the, uh oh. How long till it washes back up? Probably not very long. More dead fish carcasses. I get my little exercise on. If I find a place to put the camera down, I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm in my phone. <laughs> put my phone down and go jump in the water. See how it is before it, because you don't want to get there. Late July and August, the jellyfish are just so bad, you don't even want to be anywhere near the water. You just get stung, there's so many. But in the early, early uh, spring, and I mean late spring and early summer, the jellyfish are not too bad. As I say that, I think I just stepped on one that washed up. But yeah, when the water gets so hot, jellyfish really breed. And uh, yeah, the late summer, midsummer, and late summer, forget it. I wouldn't even get in here because they, they, they really aggravate me. The little bitty ones you don't see are the ones you gotta watch out for. It's a big fish.
Yep, that was a big fish at one time. This is Long Beach, Mississippi. I guess I probably entered in across the line into past Christiane by now. See that way over there is Walmart. <laughs> the only Walmart anywhere around. Walmart's actually in pass, past Christiane, but that's on the, it's the next street over is the line, Long Beach line. These things are everywhere. No one planted this. These things are growing everywhere. I guess they're growing in areas where it gets water, but it's not completely saturated all the time. Like the edge of the beach right here. More dead fish. I guess those birds, seagulls or whatever those birds are, they, they grab the fish out of the water, eat half of it and spit it out. That's the only thing I could guess. Like that bird right there watching grab a fish. They're pretty good fisher fishermen. This looks like a nice area here. This has a little, what's that was a little uh, ch chair or something I could put my phone on. Should have brought my waterproof phone holder, but I didn't. I don't know if I could find it. I probably have to look for it for a while to find it. Yep. It's Memorial Day weekend. Summer will be in full effect after this. Full and blown out summer. Kids out of school. Most kids got out of school already around here. I know some schools up north go to school like till June 15th or something, but kids get out of school around here around uh, middle of May to end of May. They go back early and learn August 1st, August 5th. August 5th, August 6th is the latest. Might try to create a August 5th, August 6th, they back in school already. So they get June and July off, that's about it. The end of May, June and July, and then they go back in the beginning of August. It's so freaking hot in August there. You don't want to be out here anyway. August is probably the hottest month. A lot of a lot of tree a lot of trees washing up out that way probably seven eight miles is cat island cat island mostly uninhabited they got a few houses up there but there's no electricity so you have to bring generators cat islands you know largely un, un, uninhabited they have a few houses I don't know if people live there year round because it's a haul to get over here to get supplies you know, it's probably a half an hour, 45 minute ride on boat to come to, to the beach and get your supplies and haul them back. Get your gas, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 gallons of gas for your generators. Because in, cause in the summer you have to have air condition. You don't want to be out there in summer without air condition. Another huge fish. All right, guys, I just want to see it, show y'all what it looks like. The kids playing ball out here, playing frisbee or whatever. A lot, of the, a lot of these piers have been destroyed many, many times over from the many, many hurricanes that we've had. It's hard to keep, I mean, they just re, they rebuild them, but 
five, six years down the lot road, they, they're torn down again. Cause we get major storm. I mean, category one at least every couple of years. Every two, three years, it seems like we get in the category one at least. All right, remember click the thumbs up if you like my videos. Subscribe if you haven't and all that good stuff. Again, this is Long Beach, Mississippi, past Christiane, Mississippi area. Beach. It gets deep. It usually doesn't get that deep. Usually you have to go far out before it gets deep. It must be high tide right now. Because you usually have to go way out before it gets deep. I mean, you could go, I don't know, 100 yards and it'll only be up to your hip. It doesn't get deep very fast, usually. I found a place to put my phone. Great. Just gotta keep an eye on it. It doesn't disappear. Put my phone on over here. Put my phone on the ground over here and it's fire pit. And the benches. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Peace out. I'll show y'all what the water looks like. Got sand all on my shoes now. I'm wearing water shoes, but still, they hold sand. Not much visibility. You go about two feet, you can't see your feet anymore. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's amazing because usually it's definitely high tide because uh, usually you have to go 100 yards out to get it up to your hip. I'm about knee, a little bit more than knee high right now. murky brown water but it'll cool you off I thought it was gonna be cooler than it is it's not cold at all <laughs> it's not cool at all I should say I should go out to ship island take the take the vlog out to ship island all right guys yeah it'll definitely cool you off I got the sand out my shoe that's for sure I mean it's not cool at all though <laughs> it's all the water's already getting warm but I don't see any jellies which is a welcome sight to not see any jellies. Try to get the sand on my shoe without falling and dumping my camera and dumping my phone in the water. All right, guys, remember to click the thumbs up if you haven't already and share this video out and all that good stuff. Anybody might be interested in seeing how nasty the water is here. Come on out, Biloxi, Biloxi area, Gulfport, Mississippi, Pastor Cian, Long Beach, and I'll see y'all next time.